I'm in the pollinator garden at the Conservation Blueprint office today. And what a gorgeous morning. I'm out here appreciating the fall flowering plants, the bumblebees that are on the sunflowers right here. And I'm actually tagging a few monarch butterflies that are in the process of migrating to Mexico in a citizen science project to better understand their migration. And it just strikes me that everybody has the opportunity to stop, pause, and truly appreciate one of the greatest miracles that you'll ever see in nature. I think that just about everybody knows what a monarch butterfly is. Most people know that monarch butterflies require a milkweed plant to complete its reproductive cycle. Some people know that monarch butterflies go on a migration to a specific spot in central Mexico, but not many people really appreciate the true miracle that this migration is. Each September, you have the opportunity to witness one of the greatest miracles in nature, and it happens all around us. Did you know that monarch butterflies go on a two to 3,000 mile migration each fall from the northern reaches of their range all the way to a very specific set of mountaintops in central Mexico? The monarchs use an overwinter at the same locations each and every year. That's a really impressive journey, but the miraculous part of this story is that the monarchs we're looking at today are four generations removed from the monarch butterflies that left the mountaintop last March. The typical monarch butterfly that you see throughout the summer only lives two to six weeks. The monarchs that leave central Mexico in the spring travel north, lay their eggs on a milkweed plant, and then shortly after that, they die. That starts a cycle of generations of caterpillars and monarch butterflies moving north throughout the summer until they reach their northern limit. In August and September, the fourth generation of butterflies this year, the super generation, they turn and they travel all the way to Mexico and live an incredible eight to nine months long. Now think about that for a minute. Most butterfly generations only live two to six weeks long, but the fourth generation lives eight to nine months. In addition, a butterfly that is four generations removed from the last one that was on that mountaintop in Mexico travels two to 3,000 miles and returns to the exact same spot. To put that into human terms, that'd be like me returning to the farm that my great, great, grandfather had in Denmark. And I'd have to go to the exact same farm without anybody telling me how to get there or knowing where it was located. And this is all accomplished by an insect. Truly, this is a miracle if there ever was one. This story always makes me think about the words from Genesis 2.15 that says, the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. I've always thought one of my roles in life was to tend God's garden, His creation. And I work on that effort through the various projects that we talk about on these habitat tips. The great news is all of us can help pollinators like monarch butterflies by planting gardens, flower beds, and larger habitat projects. It all adds up and it all makes a difference. Establishing and managing pollinator habitat that supports a successful annual monarch migration, but then pausing long enough to appreciate that when you see one of these butterflies, it's part of one of the greatest miracles in nature. That's another reason to support great habitat.